All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you five real web design projects. The first five real web design projects that I built when I first started my web design business back in 2016. Now I gotta warn you, some of these projects are not so good, which is kind of why I wanna share them. I wanna motivate and encourage you guys who are just starting off to stick with it and to show you what it realistically looks like when you first start. So a lot of people think that, you know, people who build web design, that they're always good at that and that when they jumped into doing it, they knew what they were doing straight away. Often that isn't the case for me. It definitely wasn't the case. I had no coding experience. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, so my first few web design projects were pretty uh, iffy. <laughs> it took me a while to make some progress. It took me a while to make some money, but I wanna show you exactly what it looked like. So I went from zero to getting, you know, well paid within five projects. I'll show you exactly those different stages, what each one looks like, and we can get into it straight away. So if you're ready to go, let's take a look. Okay, so here is the very first website that I ever built. Now this website looks pretty good, so I wanna explain how this came about. Basically, I was posting on a forum. I seen somebody that had posted up that they had, you know, learned how to build their own website. I asked them how they did it, and they said they just learned to code and they gave me a few different links. So what I did was I went ahead and I worked through Code Academy, you guys can search this and use this as well if you want. I took the Code Academy HTML and CSS course sections because they teach you a lot of different coding languages. And then along with that, I took this course on Udemy, uh, build responsive real world websites. And then in this course, they teach you how to build a website. They literally take you step by step and they show you how to make a website. And this is a website that that course showed me how to make. So this looks really good, but I still had no idea what I was doing really. The course definitely helped, but I was completely starting from scratch. So I made this website, I looked good, and I was like, man, I can, I can do this. I can go out there and I can approach real businesses and I can build them websites like this. So what I did once I had finished this, at the time I was living in Colombia in South America in Bogota, which is the biggest city in Colombia. So I was trying to make money. So I took this website, I approached the only business that I could get a hold of that would allow me to build him a website, which was my uncle's business. And I said, I build him a website. And he said, okay, you can do it. And if I make any sales, I'll pay you. So what I did was I took this website, the exact same code, and I just switched out the images, switched out the text, and I built a website for his business. Now this thing has been on my hard drive for four years. So I guess I deleted some photos. So it's missing some sections here with the photos, but you can see that I basically just took the exact same design that I learned in this course and switch things out and applied it to a business. And even, you know, the the copywriting in this is is not so good. <laughs> it's pretty pretty basic, but uh, I got the job done. I put it up online and um, it was online for a while. So basically, unfortunately, this website didn't get any sales. I thought it looked good, you know, with the photos in here, it definitely looks better than it looks right now. It had a map that was working and a contact form and different things, but it didn't get any sales from my uncle and you know the deal was if I made sales that he would go ahead and pay me. So unfortunately I didn't get paid for my first project. This is the first website that I built for a real client. I was super happy with it. At the time I thought it looked really, really good. I didn't still really know what I was doing, uh, but unfortunately I didn't get paid. So what I did after that, I thought, okay, you know, if I wanna get paid, then I probably shouldn't work um, with somebody who already knows me. I should go out there and approach people on freelancing websites. And I actually went about it the wrong way. I wouldn't recommend that nowadays. But at the time, I thought that was a better move. So what I did was I took what I'd learned so far from you know this course, making this website, and I went ahead and I joined Upwork. And I think it took like 20 or 30 applications to get my first project. But this is the first one that I landed for like $100. So somebody wanted a simple one-page website, I messaged them, I said, hey, I can build that for you, you know, no problem, I'll do it for whatever price. And I think we agreed $100 or less. So this is a website that I built for them. Now this might look pretty good from, you know, a coding standpoint. And basically what I did was I went and I got some HTML themes and I've got a video on this, I'll link to it above, but I didn't code this from scratch. I used somebody else's theme and I basically switched out the images, switched out the text and made it look as good as I could. So I did some things here, like I made these mock-ups and you know, made quite a few. I did the copywriting, so learning how to write copywriting, uh, did the design and got paid. So this is my first ever project that I got paid. Uh, not a great website, to be honest. I don't know really how much results this website got the client. 
I didn't really keep in touch. I know at the time they were happy. They paid $100 and they got this website. So for them, it was a good deal, I believe. <laughs> I hope so. Um, this is, yeah, my first paying client. So it shows, I guess, how you can start one way. This is not how I recommend you start. There's much better ways to make uh, better money and to work with, you know, to head in a direction that's going to lead to bigger things in a short amount of time. But at the time, I didn't really know any better. So this is what I was doing. And when I got paid for this one, $100, I thought, okay, you know, I'll just keep going on this freelancing website and things will get better. So what I did was I basically applied for more jobs. This was, I believe, the second job I got. Um, this one, I don't think turned out as well. This looks pretty rough. Uh, but again, you know, using themes, switching the themes around, um, my basic coding skills at the time, adding in some images, and again, just trying to like learn copywriting and learn how to create some sales from a website. So, you know, go on, sign up. This is terrible copywriting. But at the time, again, I didn't know any better. I was just try, <laughs> trying to do what I could at the, you know, with the skills that I had. And I didn't really have anyone to teach me or to guide me. You know, you guys are watching the YouTube channel, but I wasn't doing things like that at the time. I was just trying to figure this out for myself. So this was the second project um, or I guess the third project, but the second one I got paid for, can't remember the exact price, probably like $100 or less. Uh, I was not making much of these projects. And a lot of the time they're taking me at least a week, more like maybe two weeks with some changes and back and forth and a little bit of time. So I was not really making any proper money. Um, luckily I was living in Colombia, so the cost of living is like crazy cheap, but you know, hardly even enough to to pay for food or my rent or anything like that. So after this project, so this is the next project. Uh, again, this is one from Upwork. Not even sure if these websites are online anymore. I'm I'm uh, showing you guys this from directly from my hard drive, so they're all offline. But another project that I wouldn't have got paid too much from uh, for, and really basic design. So again, using themes, uh, switching out the images with stock images. Um, I was having the best go that I could with, you know, making the text persuasive. Again, I was just starting with copywriting. I didn't really know what I was doing and just doing the best I could. So you can see here, I mean, this is a massive block of text. There's no way I would do it like this nowadays, but the clients in general are really happy with this. Um, they weren't paying much. I was doing the best that I could. I had a really good work attitude. You know, I was trying to over deliver, uh, really do with the limited skills that I have, I was really trying to do the best that I could, be super good at communicating, nice and fast, all these different things. But I was really struggling to just get paid more. So for each one of these projects, um, you know, I was grateful for it at the time, but I just was not getting paid that much. So these last three projects um, were like $100 each. And I kind of think for one of these businesses or something, they were like connected. It was the same owner. They knew each other or something. And I think I don't, have it there was one more that i did on this freelancing website before i quit i guess i deleted the files when i quit so i don't have that project but this was the one that i did afterwards so in colombia basically what happened was as after i did these projects on the freelancing website and i wasn't making progress like i wasn't starting to get paid more and more i was getting paid the same amount every time i figured the best thing to do would be to go offline and try find a real contact to work with so what i did was i approached a company in Bogota, Colombia, where I was living and offered to build them a website. So they were for a pub crawl business. So this is the next website that I built uh, using a theme again, um, this time with real images though. So I asked the owner for images that they had from their nights out and um, was trying to do you know better with the text. I was trying to get more persuasive, uh, have a bit more of a system to create sales. So I feel like this website was a step in the right direction I don't think um, it got massive results, but I do think that it helped the business get some sales. So it wasn't like a crazy successful project or anything, but I do think they were happy with it and it did help the business. Uh, so again, this is offline, so the maps aren't going to work, but doing the best I could uh, at the time with the limited coding skills that I have. And this one, I actually went ahead and put in a booking system. So starting to get a little bit more advanced, picking up a few things as I go. Uh, so yeah, that was a step in the right direction. This one was helping me to get a little bit more confidence in knowing that I could build a good website for the right sort of business, but not quite connecting it just yet to, to get those big results. 
So a step in the right direction. I can't remember what I got paid for this. Probably only a few hundred dollars, uh, if even. And I think I got like a free night out drinking or something. <laughs> but um, this one gave me a lot of confidence. So when this one was done and with the other ones that I had done, basically what happened was I was looking for a business that I could approach that would just get more value. Like it, it would make more sense for them to pay more for the website. And what happened was at the time I was reapplying for my Canadian visa uh, while I was in Colombia and I had an immigration lawyer and I asked her, hey, would you be interested in me redesigning your website? So she said, yes, we agreed on a price, which was $2,000, which at the time was amazing for me. It was more than I had made multiple times more than all the other projects combined. Um, so she agreed and I went ahead and built this website. And this website was the first one where everything came together. It was a good business that really needed help with their online side of things, with you know just representing their brand better, uh, getting their company name out there, creating sales, having a better system for the sales. So this website came together uh, really well and it was the first one that things started to click where I was like, okay, this is going in the right direction. And I actually quoted myself <laughs> on their website because I did actually use their service. So I know that's not something I wouldn't do nowadays, but since I was using their own service, I quoted myself um, to save time that I don't want to go find people to get a testimonial from. Again, nowadays I wouldn't do that. So this was a multiple page website using a theme once more, but learning how to use themes better and how to get better images that, you know, really do help get results. And a few of these images are actually, uh, real, like realism that came from, from the owner. So this is my, fifth project or the fifth one that I still have anyway. I think there might've been one or two more that I deleted in that kind of time span. But this project was really a step in the right direction. And for, you know, you people starting, this is what I recommend that you do. Instead of wasting time on freelancing websites, building these sort of websites that, you know, the client really can't pay you that much because it's never gonna be worth that much to their business. Uh, it's much better to go out there, contact real businesses, that are established, that really do need help with sales and are willing to pay more for, for real results that will matter to their business. So once I approached a business like this and I got them real results and this website really helped them to sell, they got a, a big increase in the bookings and um, the consultations and the services that they provide. So this website got really, really good results. And using this website with the results that it got, I was able to very quickly start leveraging much bigger deals. So after this project and then using this project, I went ahead and started landing projects for 4,000, 8,000, and then up above 10,000. So yeah, I really hope that this helps to show you kind of the progression. It definitely was tricky in the beginning. I mean, doing these projects, each one of these projects took several weeks of, you know, back and forth, changes, questions, figuring things out and only getting paid, you know, not even getting paid for this project only getting paid like $100 for each of these and one or two projects that I've deleted since. So a lot of time in there. Then for this one, again, a lot of work and only getting paid a pretty small amount. Uh, but then eventually things clicking, hitting the right sort of business, getting them the right sort of results and really just coming across someone who had the money and could justify it, you know, having a proper budget for a website project. So for them to spend $2,000, for me, it felt like a lot. But for them, that was just like one application. So if they got, you know, one extra application, the website was paid off and they got hundreds of applications in the first year just from improving this website. So that's really what you're looking for when you're trying to increase your rates is just getting your skill levels up whatever way you have to these sort of projects. And then once you start getting those skills, applying those skills to a business where the skills are going to matter and your results are going to equal something real for that business that's definitely worth paying for. All right, so that is it for my first five projects. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, hope that it gives you a lot of insight into what real progress actually looks like. Sometimes you look on YouTube and, you know, I do this as well. I'm looking to learn a new skill and the people teaching it are really, really good and you presume they're always good. Uh, in my case with web design, that definitely was not the case. I started from zero and I think that anyone with a little bit of work can start from zero and make similar, even better progress than what I made uh, in those first few months. So hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments, any questions or whatever that you might have. If you like this sort of content, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more coming this year. Once more, I hope you enjoyed it and catch you in the next video.